I started producing in the mid 90s using vinyl records, the built in one shot sampler on a cam mixer and a Fostex 4 track recorder. Fast forward to today, I use Logic Pro and there are three samplers in Logic Pro that are really powerful and in this video I'm going to show you how I use them by making a beat from start to finish using only these three samplers and some splice loops. Let's go! I'm Ole Pete Miren, Subphotic, Subphotic.com and the first sampler is sort of like an NPC inside of Logic. It's like you can chop up samples, you can slice them, you can play them in whatever order you like, you can tune them and it's the quick sampler and it looks like this. So here you have the basic sampling feature controls. I always use the slice function in this sampler and I use this as a starting ground. So this is the foundation of the music. So I take, for example, a splice loop or from vinyl records or whatever, but in this instance, I'm going to use splice samples. I have a sample pack right here that I've curated myself, downloaded from splice.com. And then I'll drag in a sample like this. And here you can see that I have some controls. I will select the correct mode. So in this case, it's not transients. I like it to better to be maybe beat divisions or anything that can get me started. And then I will adjust how many slices I will use. And in this case, I don't want that many. And I can always add or subtract slices. Just single click will create a new slice and double click will take it away again. So really simple. And I can, I can move them wherever I want. And then you have the pitch section where I can pitch samples up or down, fine tune them or coarse tune them as ever I please. And there's a glide function so I can have them glide smoothly together. And uh, then there's the filter section. I sometimes use this to just filter out the low end a bit or take away some top end. I can also use an EQ for this afterwards, but it can also bring some character to the table, this filter right here. And then there's the amp section. And here I always select mono because I don't want the slices to play at the same time with each other. I like to play one sample at a time, especially when I'm starting off a beat from scratch like this. And then at the bottom, there's an ADS section where you can adjust the attack. And that's really powerful to just take away the initial click when you slice samples. Sometimes you will slice it in the middle of a wave. You catch it in the middle there and then you will have a click sound and you don't want that. So you can just use the attack and you can also use the sustain to dampen off the click that comes at the end of a sample. And then you have a LFO and mod matrix section. I never use this function. I use it in another sampler that I'm going to show you a bit later, but in this one, I keep it simple, simple and plain. Now, let me show you this beast in action. Now, if you like this video so far, hit the like button. And here's the next sampler. And this is actually a classic one. The SX24 doesn't exist in Logic Pro 11. 
the sampler has taken its place. And it looks like this. What I like so much about Logic in the recent years is that older knobs are bigger, especially for old school cats like me with the eyes and everything. So this sampler is not for slicing up samples. It's to be used as an instrument. So you can import a sample in here and you can tweak to your heart's content. So first of all, you have a really powerful filter section here. There are two filters which you can mix between them and you can insert drive and you can really create some sweet character and really change up the sound quite a bit. Then there's the mod matrix where you can insert some movement, for example, an LFO or something as it's a source. And as a target, you can have a filter cut off or whatever, and you can select amount. So you can tweak the amount as to how much the LFO is going to affect the filter, for example. And I'll show you later on. And then you have the modulators, the attack, decay, sustain, and release. And then you have the mapping section where you can map out where on the keyboard you want the sample to be playable. For me, I like to have it playable on as much as possible, but I typically use the computer keyboard. So it's really not that complicated. And finally, you have the zone where you can, for example, say you want to drag in a complete song from somewhere, a WAV or something, and you can just select a short section of that song, for example, or you import a sample as I did now, I can choose to play back the complete entire sample or I can select a zone from that sample that to be played out. So that's really practical. You don't have to slice it beforehand. You can cut it off as you please. Now, let me show you this sampler in action. Now the final sampler is a crazy one and that's the sample alchemy from Logic Pro and alchemy is the flagship synth inside Logic Pro and there's also now a sampler unit from this synthesizer and it uses synthesis to tweak the samples and make them special I guess <laughs> I think it's fun to use because you have a lot of opportunities there are a lot of possibilities that you can do inside of this sampler so you just as in the regular sampler in logic you can just drag in a sample inside here you have a lot of options you can have it set on granular you can set it to additive to spectral and these are different types of synthesis you can select how the sample is being played back like standard classic from start to finish but then you have in loop so it will loop it and you have a bow so it's sort of emulating how you will do it with the strings on a violin that's that's why it's called a bow and then you have scrub so there are different playback modes you can stack playback on top of each other for different playback modes at one singular time and in just a minute i'm going to show you how i use one section of a sample and another section of a sample and just layer them together using different modes and creating my own instruments, so to speak. There are more functions here than I can understand. I don't think I understand half of it, but I just keep tweaking and getting crazy results. So that's what I love about this sampler right here. It's really set up for cre being creative. It's perfect for pads and transitional effects and to create something special. Check out how it performs in action.
That's it, three samplers in Logic Pro. Now let me know in the comments which of these three is your favorite. Is it the MTC style quick sampler? Is it the ESX24 air taker, the sampler? Or is it the crazy sample alchemy? Let me know in the comments below. If you had any value at all out of this video, I think you will have immense value out of this next video because this will set you up for success. I'm Ulu Petumiren from subphotic.com. So happy to spend some time with you and I hope I see you again. Peace out.